science, biology, veterinary medicine, food science, nutrition, nursing, or other One Health related subjects, as well as residency candidates attending programs in veterinary science. Course content We will give a theoretical overview of what the One Health concept is, and why a One Health approach is necessary to provide efficient solutions to the global challenges of our time. We will describe the benefits and drawbacks of interdisciplinary research, and how interdisciplinarity is used in this context. Theoretical lectures will be mixed with presentations of successful One Health cases. Methods commonly used within the One Health concept will be presented, for example including artificial intelligence, epidemiology, bioinformatics, and qualitative research methods. Participants will present their own research project to the group, and after the first course week they will give a second presentation describing how the project could be developed using One Health concept and methodology. The second week, Students will be divided into groups, and given the task to come up with a One Health research project, and a skeleton for a research application. The second week will also include lectures on how to write an interdisciplinary research application, with emphasis on impact and communication. Objectives After completing the course the student shall be able to Understand the One Health concept and its interdisciplinary perspectives and discuss One Health issues. Describe One Health cases within various areas. Identify important methods used to analyze One Health impacts on animal, human and ecosystem health. Explain the principles for prevention and control of infectious diseases, food safety threats, antimicrobial resistance and other One Health hazards. Understand the advantages and challenges of applying One Health approaches. Identify challenges that need One Health approaches to be solved or mitigated. Be a valuable collaborator in One Health projects by being aware of the core competences that different participants bring into One Health collaborations. To registration. Facts. Time, the 17th of October 2022, the 27th of October 2022 City. Zoom. Additional info. Literature be decided prior to the start of the course. Examination. To pass the course, the participants must have attended at least 80% of the scheduled activities and completed and passed all assignments in the course. Lecturers. International and national lecturers, as well as lecturers from SLU, will be invited as lecturers. Location. The course will be held digitally to facilitate participation for SLU's PhD students at all campuses. Program Note This is a preliminary program that may be altered before the course starts. Monday, October 17th, One Health and Interdisciplinarity 09.00 to 09.10 Welcome, Susanna Sternberg-Lurin, Professor in Epizootiology and Disease Control. Program Director of SLU Future One Health, SLU. 09.10 to 09.45 Introduction to One Health, Kartinka Dabalo, PhD, Veterinarian, formerly Senior Animal Health and Production Officer, and One Health Focal Point at FAL Investment Center, FAL. 10.00 to 10.45 Introduction to One Health Continued. 11.00 to 11.45 Introduction to Interdisciplinarity, Marie Stensick, Professor in Human Geography, Department for Economy and Society, University of Gothenburg, and Co-Chair of the Multidisciplinary Expert Panel, MEP, the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES. Lunch 13.00 to 13.45 Introduction to Student Presentations 14.00 to 16.45 Preparation Time Student Presentations, Not Teacher-Led Tuesday, October 18th, Toxicology and Student Presentations 09.00 to 09.45 Fish as Food Risks and Benefits, Anders Glynn Professor in Toxicology, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 Case 1. 
Effects of Environmental Pollutants on Early Embryo Development, Ida Hallberg, Researcher, Department of Clinical Sciences, SLU. 11.00 to 11.45 Case 2. Using cats to understand indoor exposure to chemicals, implications and relevance to humans, Jana Weiss, Researcher, Department of Environmental Science, Stockholm University. Lunch. 13.00 to 16.45 Presentations of PhD Student Projects. Wednesday, October 19th, Biodiversity and Comparative Medicine. 09.00 to 09.45 Biological Diversity and One Health, Torbjörn Ebenard, Research Group Leader at the Department of Urban and Rural Development, Director of the Swedish Biodiversity Center, CBM, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 Plant Diseases and One Health, Anna Berlin, Researcher, Department of Forest Mycology and Plant Pathology, SLU. 11.00 to 11.45 Comparative Medicine, Using Spontaneous Disease Models in Animals under the One Health Umbrella, Henrik Rundberg, Professor in Internal Medicine, Dekthim Carr, Oncology, Department of Clinical Sciences, SLU. Lunch. 13.00 to 13.45 Case 3. Biomarkers in blood for early diagnosis of osteoarthritis in horses and humans. Eva Skiwaldebrand, Professor in Pathology, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 14.00 to 16.45 Preparation Time Student Presentations, Not Teacher Led. Thursday, October 20th. Antimicrobial resistance and pandemics. 09.00 to 09.45 Antimicrobial resistance in a One Health perspective. Susanna Sternberg Lurin, Professor in Epizootiology and Disease Control, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 Case 4. Perspectives on antimicrobial use and resistance among human and veterinarian health professionals. Hedvig Grundel, researcher, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 11.00 to 11.45 Case 5. The role of the aquatic microbiome in One Health. Stefan Batielsen, professor in functional ecology of freshwaters, Department of Aquatic Sciences and Assessment, SLU and Director of the Swedish Infrastructure for Ecosystem Science, Sites. Lunch. 13.00 to 13.45 Pandemics in a One Health Perspective, Joseph Jarholt, Professor and Senior Consultant in Infectious Diseases, Department of Medical Sciences, Uppsala University. 14.00 to 14.45 K6, SARS-CoV-2 in Wastewater. Maya Marlenberg, Researcher, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, LU. 15.00 to 16.45 PhD student presentations of One Health Reflections, relating to own projects. Friday, October 21st, Food Safety, Wildlife and Zoonoses, and a bit about pharmaceuticals in water. 09.00 to 09.45 Improving Food Safety Through a One Health Approach, Sophia Boekvist, Senior Lecturer, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 K7, A One Health Perspective on Raw Meat-Based Diets for Dogs, Ingrid Hansen, Senior Lecturer, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 11.00 to 11.45 Wildlife and One Health, Alexi Janimane, Deputy State Veterinarian, PhD, DIPL, ACVP, Swedish National Veterinary Institute, SVA. Lunch. 13.00 to 13.45 Zoonotic Infections in the Context of Climate Change, Anne Albin, Associate Professor, Swedish National Veterinary Institute, SVA. Adjunct Professor, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 14.00 to 14.45 Case 8. 
Novel Control Tools for Mosquito-Borne Diseases, Richard Ignall, Professor of Chemical Ecology, Department of Plant Protection Biology, SLU. 15.00 to 15.45 Case 9. Pharmaceutical Residues in Aquatic Ecosystems, Stefan Orn, Researcher, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. Monday, October 24th, Research Tools and Climate Change. 09.00 to 09.45 Epidemiology as a One Health Tool, Dina Mari Tamanen, Researcher, Department of Clinical Sciences, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 Qualitative Analyses as a One Health Tool, Hedvig Grundel, Researcher, Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, SLU. 11.00 to 11.45 Bioinformatics as a One Health Tool, Eric Bonk and Rudloff, Professor in Bioinformatics, Department of Animal Breeding and Genetics SLU. Lunch. 13.00 to 13.45 Food Production in a Changing Climate, Lotta Ritma, Professor in Animal Genetics, Department of Animal Breeding and Genetics, SLU. 14.00 to 14.45 Case 10. Effects of Extreme Weather on Milk Production, Lena Mari Tamanen, Researcher, Department of Clinical Sciences, SLU. 15.00 to 15.45 Introduction to PhD Student Group Exercise, the Dream Team Interdisciplinary Research Project. 16.00 to 16.45 Preparation Time Group Exercise. Not teacher led. Tuesday, October 25th, Water and Health Benefits from Nature. 09.00 to 09.45 Taking a One Health Perspective on Agricultural Water Management for Nutrition Outcomes, Jenny Barron, Professor in Agricultural Water Management, Department of Soil and Environment, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 Case 11. Land Health and Water Security, a One Health Perspective, Aida Bargs Tabella, Researcher, Department of Forest Ecology and Management SLU. 11.00 to 11.45 Biodiversity and Multisensory Experience of Nature Linked to Health, Marcus Hedblom, Professor in Landscape Management, Department of Urban and Rural Development, SLU. Lunch. 13.00 to 16.45 Preparation Time Group Exercise, Not Teacher Led. Wednesday, October 26, Animals and Human Health. 09.00 to 09.45 Health Benefits from Animal Interactions, Patrick Gran, Professor in Landscape Architecture, Department of People and Society, SLU. 10.00 to 10.45 Case 12. Dog Ownership and Cardiovascular Disease, Wayne Mubenga, Researcher, Department of Medical Epidemiology and Biostatistics, Karolinska Institute. 11.00 to 11.45 Case 13. One Health and Effects of a Shared Lifestyle. Can we use the dog as a motivator for increased physical activity in dog owner and dog? Anna Berg, Senior Lecturer, DECVSMR, Department of Clinical Sciences. SLU Lunch 13.00 to 16.45 Preparation Time Group Exercise, Not Teacher Led This afternoon PhD students exchange presentations and prepare questions for another group. Thursday, October 27th, Group Exercise Presentations 09.00 to 11.45 Group Exercise Presentations Lunch. 13.00 to 16.45 Group Exercise Presentations and Goodbye. Related Pages. SLU Future One Health. One Health Sweden. Contact. Malin Hagberg Gustafsson. Coordinator at the Department of Biomedical Science and Veterinary Public Health, Division of Bacteriology and Food Safety. Telephone. Plus four six one eight six seven one four three eight. Email Malin Gustafsson at slu.se. Share.
Email. Facebook. LinkedIn. Twitter. Page editor. Future.